And now I present to you James P. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. <laughs> okay, we are here. We are here. Another week has flown by. <clears throat> of course, what else is it going to do? The weeks, the months, the years fly by. Just keep going by. Yeah, what did uh, Ed Norton say on the honeymoon? I don't know. Time and tide waits for no man. Uh -huh, that's a quote from some sage. Oh, I like sage on, on my chicken. No rosemary, just sage. You know, they, they found out that all these herbs, <coughs> all these aromatic herbs are very medicinal and high in uh, antioxidant uh, aurac ability. Cinnamon? All, all the aromatics, yes, all of them. Cinnamon, Thyme, and uh, rosemary. Yeah. And instead of warfarin, instead of Zeralcol and Zalpol, or instead of... Uh, wild oregano. Uh, oh, crap. Wild oregano is one of the most effective antibiotics. Antibiotics. Actually, they give it, some chicken ranchers out west are giving the wild oregano to their chickens. Uh-huh. You know, I'm so... I'm sure it's better than antibiotics. Well, an antibiotic, Jeez. which only... Uh, I had a, a dispute with one of my aunts. Uh, in uh, my part of the country, they call them ants, but it's an aunt. It's an aunt. It's an aunt. A-U-N-T. Aunt Barbara oh. insisted that, and my mother insisted also, that antibiotics will kill the vi her cold virus. And I'm telling you, no! Antibiotics are used for bacterial infection, not a cold virus. But she kept on insisting because I have these relatives from older generation that are always right and they always have to be right. And they have to have the last damn word. And I said, no, no, no. See, you know, <laughs> this is what all enlightened people have gone through throughout history. When the populace, the ignorant people around them, have never accepted their discoveries, and it's yeah, people that don't don't recognize the importance of science. Of the of the of the people who who do the studies who do the research, they they suppress they suppress science in the Middle Ages. Uh, 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 and when they get into a big organization, that's what they do. They put their ideas into laws and etc. And guess what? They come and they kill you. They kill you for your knowledge because they fear it. Oh, look at all these uh, holistic doctors being, uh, they're, they're all, all of a sudden found dead. Ah, that's baloney. Unless it's, uh, it's fear-mongering and it, it's bullshit on the Cons internet. It's conspiracy theories. Okay. Yeah, I mean, how could... Okay. You know, now, uh, um, <clears throat> they, my relatives are, uh, they believe in uh, uh, Big Pharma. They believe in their medical, what their medical doctor says. Officialdom. Officialdom. The man with the white coat. They they believe in surgery and drugs and uh, like my family practitioner. He's a doctor of internal medicine. He um, he says uh, the only thing that you should take that's actually proven is vitamin D and omega three fish oil. I says yeah, but what about all the other uh, basic nutritional program supplements? Ah, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. What about vitamin C? When my late grandmother's cardiologist took her natural 400 unit mixed cough for all vitamin E and threw it in the trash can. Uh, but, but he was anxious to give her that uh, uh, quadruple bypass surgery. He was big on that. Oh, yeah. But not big on a, the most important vitamin, probably, car for the cardiovascular system. He wasn't big on that. Well, the whole thing about that is people believe that they can get everything they need from their food, and that cannot happen. Oh, a, a, uh, a registered dietitian who official them likes to call nutritionist. Uh -huh. She was saying that, what you just said about getting everything from your, your food. 
man, did she look, she looked like she had one foot on a banana peel and one foot <laughs> in, in a grave. grave. Yeah. She was a decrepit, oh, with so many wrinkles and, and she's like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to take your advice for it. For it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you should go everything you need is for the food you eat. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You have to be an example to win the respect of people that are going to follow your advice. You have to set the example. Well, that's the ideal situation. Yes. You know, like Jack LaLanne, the great late, the late great Jack LaLanne set an example. <clears throat> Before him, Paul Bragg set an example. Uh, today, Gary Null sets an example. You know, uh, the, the, these are the people you, you have to listen to. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce us formally. Ah! I, this is Progressive Discussions, and I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. And I am with my illustrious co host and mentor, and the very founder of Newsletters Censored in 1977, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, how are you feeling this week, sir? Mm -hmm. Now. I could have had a, a second nap already. You could have had a V8? Well, a first nap, but, you know. Seven bells for the Reverend Dr. Bill. I, you see this crown? Well, you're going to be seeing a lot of this crown. Mm -hmm. Because from for my observations and listening and watching other people on the internet, wh whether it be uh, uh, big media talk show hosts or whether it be uh, lesser uh, hosts, uh, progressive hosts, um, not so popular, not quite in the spotlight, or even so-called progressives that stick their two cents in and, and just comment and debate online like on Facebook and some of them think they're gurus and know-it-alls and they have to stick their two cents in and of course my first question is do you vote if you don't vote I'm not interested in your opinion so um, based on all these people out there uh, and how some of them are ultra-liberal Pollyannas. Some of them are, want to be accepted and liked by everyone and they care what other people think. Some of them worry about offending someone else. And some of them just hold back. Some of them are just pusillanimous pipsqueaks, pigeon-livered cowards. And there are many cowards out there some are cowards uh, that won't do video. They'll just do radio. But that's okay. They have their reason. That's not so bad. Some of them won't do either. And um, if, you, if you say something blunt and direct but truthful, like if you call certain uh, uh, rich and famous individuals that sell out big corporations like Monsanto, if you call them corporate whores, mm -hmm. to these talk show hosts, that's too severe. Oh, you're, you, 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 you gotta bring it up. You gotta, you gotta bring, uh, bring up your vocabulary to a higher level. That's, that's too harsh. But that's what they are. If you sell out, if you're a politician, or you're a famous person that um, promotes non-GMO organic food and claims to consume healthy food like that and all of a sudden you do a flip-flop and all of a sudden you're promo promoting Monsanto mm -hmm. and you're promoting the GMOs because you got paid off well that's prostituting What's a, a synonymous word for prostitute? Whore. Yeah. Corporate whore. But people, some people just don't want you to make those statements. It's too harsh. You know, uh, um, 
I've called Hillary Clinton and Oprah Winfrey corporate whores because they are proven corporate whores. And there are many others. The Washington is loaded with them. The two-party system is loaded with them. So based on all this, and based on the fact that I pull no punches, our shows are no holds barred, I am the undisputed king of progressive internet talk radio. Dun, da, da, da. And, and, and I'm a Leo, so it's it's befitting for me to wear the crown. But we we pull no punches, <coughs> and um, I have uh, our little buddy here, the evangelical right wing serpent, as in taking up serpents. Uh, um, I gotta think of a good name, but what should I call him, Huckabee? I don't know, uh, Huckabee? All right, for now, Huckabee, until I think of a better name. <laughs> Call him Huckabee. <coughs> Even though Mike Huckabee was defending Social Security in the in the first debate, I was surprised at him. Speaking of the debate, don't forget the Democrats are on tonight. You know, I missed... On CBS, you know, regular TV. Oh, really? You yeah. know, CNBC did not post the full video of the forum yet on um, on YouTube. I asked somebody, please, if, if, if they post it, put it on the group because, you know, I missed it. I didn't see it. And then the Republican debate, which I really don't care about. I think I missed that, right? Was Donald was Trump... on uh, channel 106. That shows Fox you. Business Channel. Uh, yeah, I missed in this it. area, 106. Was Trump um, um, uh, was Trump on the attack even more? No, it was that night. Was more Rubio and Cruz. Really? Yeah. The two Latins going at it. They uh, they are vying for position right now. Position? Yeah. Yeah, they're. I mean, like bending over for the Koch brothers. And Rand too. He got it because Rand is calling out Rubio uh, for not being a conservative. Because how can you call yourself a conservative if you want to if you want to add uh, trillions of dollars to the military budget? I'm surprised that Rand is uh, has moved that far to the right because uh, his father appeared to be like a moderate libertarian. Well, that's not going to the right. That's Dr. calling out Rubio's conservatism. No, I mean some some of uh, Rand Paul's statements. Uh, he's a libertarian, so he's year's. not really always to the right. But he doesn't on social issues. He's but he doesn't. He, he's not too. He is. Well, I thought Rand Paul was not against. Not liberal, you know, like a, a progressive would be, but uh, basically liberal. Yeah, he's not too crazy about helping the poor. I know that. You know. But uh, hey, congratulations! I hope it. I hope it. Uh, it becomes reality to set a precedence. The state of Colorado wants to um, have a, a single payer universal health care plan, yep. along with legalized marijuana, which they have already across the board. Legalized um, recreational as well as medical marijuana, single payer. It's what what happened with marijuana is it there was like a domino effect you know it was like uh, I think it was Colorado then Washington then Oregon and you know it has a it doesn't have a fast domino effect but it has a domino effect just the same um, I hope it happens because uh, you know uh, you know how Republicans always say we we, we got to leave everything. To the states, we we got to shrink the federal government and let mm -hmm. the states decide on everything. Mm -hmm. Well, lately these states have been progressive. They don't like it. Raising the minimum wage they in Seattle, like states raising the minimum wage. New York City fast food workers uh, get uh, over fi over fi over fifteen dollars an hour. Seattle, uh, what, what is it, seventeen dollars an hour, something like that. They don't like it. That, I don't care what the hell the rich and they don't like what it. rich Republicans like and what they don't like. 
I don't care what they think. They don't like those states' rights. They only like states' rights. Hey, people that have to get their ass out of bed in the morning and work want to get compensated for their services. (laughs) You know, it it doesn't take much to get the little guy angry, believe me, nowadays. Um, Yeah, so anyway, the states are taking it upon themselves to make decisions, but they're making progressive decisions. Yeah, they don't like it. You know what? Fuck them. Fuck the rich. Fuck the cokes. Fuck them. We gotta, we gotta suffer. The little guy, the mainstream guy, has to, has to suffer, and bust his ass or bust her ass, and not, and not have quality time when they get home from work, and 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 barely make ends meet, and all this shit, and not have a life. That they have to suffer. Why the fuck should they respect and listen to the? Top one percent, the filthy we rich. We have to make the rich richer. That's Fuck what em. it's all about. Civil war is what we it's need. All... You got, you got, you got the ultra liberal uh, 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 pacifism here. It doesn't believe in. Uh, hey, hey, what do you think? What do you? How do you think the redcoats got taken care of during the Revolutionary War? Oh, by only one third of the country, my friend. The other two thirds were loyal to King George. They sold out to King George? Well, they didn't want to do anything different. He always, he always does that. Oh, they, because that's the how Republicans people are. won't like it. The rich won't like it. No. Who cares if a multi billionaire is upset and doesn't like it? He should that's be not paying the point. He should be paying most of the taxes. That's not the point. The point is it didn't happen in uh, in the nineteen thirties with the Great Depression. It won't happen here. People are not pissed off enough back then. Today, they, exactly. today what do you mean they ain't weren't pissed off enough? Well, people were dying. There was no food, no money, no banks. What do you mean? They didn't mobilize any militias. It won't. No, of course not. In fact, uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower and MacArthur put them in their place when they tried to get their bonus. The only one that stood up for them was Schmedley. Well, they they, they deserve. Like the Eisenhower and MacArthur kicked them out of their their little shanty town that they had in Washington. They deserve a bonus. They were promised it. Okay. They wanted it early because they didn't have any money. Just like the uh, Native Americans deserve every positive thing that we can do for them. That's the least we can do. But Republicans want to take everything away from the Native Americans. Oh, Lakota. Oh, Sitting Bull, one of my heroes, beat that nasty, dastardly uh, uh, General Custer in, in the United States Army. May you, but he was killed several years later. May you rest later. in peace. Huh? He was killed several years later. Sitting Bull? Sitting Bull. And the other one, what was the other... Uh, the other big Indian. Uh, um, uh, Geronimo? Oh, that was the Apaches. No, the other guy. Anyway, Crazy. he was killed too. Crazy horse? Yeah, no, no. The Sioux, I guess it was. You know. Mm-hmm. Lakota. Lakota Sioux. Lakota Sioux. North Dakota, South Dakota. Well, um, um, the great uh, gunslinger and lawman, mm-hmm. uh, Wild Bill Hickok, Wild was, Bill. <laughs> was killed. Was killed by a, a, a yellow-bellied coward. By he got shot in the back of the head playing poker in That's dead in, in in Deadwood. Uh, I guess it's North Dakota. North Dakota. I well, guess. that's how they used to do it in the old days. That thing about going outside and facing each other down never happened. It came. It, it was a, an author in a book who, who invented that. In other words, they cheated. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you're playing poker in a Billy while, the kid didn't, you know, go out there and face him, all of his twenty-one or how many he killed. Jesse pounds. James, what about Jesse James? Jesse James. He was a great guy. Annie Oakley. Well, she wasn't a crook. No, she wasn't a crook. But what I'm there. saying is, in a wild, wild west show, in a wild wild west, yeah, she did the shows, and, and she was a sharpshooter. In the yeah. wild wild west, if you're playing poker or if you're if you're in a in a shady part of a, a shady saloon, you, you never have your back to the public. You always yeah, have your back wall. to a wall. And if somebody proceeds to walk behind you, you turn around. <laughs> but anyway, 
Hey, I heard, I heard Donald Trump is uh, uh, was proven a liar again. I heard he no. he, he has been re he has been receiving CPAC money right along. Oh. CPAC money. It's not his, all his own money in the campaign. Oh. Yeah, you bo, uh, you rascal, you. <laughs> what a rascal he is, okay. you know. So anyway, let us sink our teeth into so these. So his hands are not clean. His hands are not clean, and Krispy Kreme, Crisco, Chris Christie has been hiding thousands of emails. Yes, he has. About the bridge. <laughs> the bridge. You see, you Scandal. see the cartoon of him on the bridge, Squad, wearing a track was, track. Yes. Straddling the uh, yeah, but he's wearing a tracksuit like a mob mobster. Yeah. He got a, he got a huge double chin on him. He's like, uh, of well, course. Some, there was he, a picture of him up on Facebook, and his skin looks terrible. He closed he closed food pantries. He closed housing for the disabled, but I am sure he he uh, redirected that food to his tasty cakes, baby. To his home. Yeah, because food pantries, they don't give healthy food to the poor. No. They give you a, the package that they make for you. It could have, um, I saw it one time, it, it had like Kraft macaroni and cheese. I mean, that's white flour. That's the cheapest pasta, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, elbow mm -hmm. macaroni, and, and it is probably powdered Mm, Velveeta cheese, yeah. or Cheese Whiz or something. Powdered cheese. That's in the box. In they, the give you, yeah. they give you they give you shit just to just to fill the belly. Fill the belly. That they told me nutrition is not their priority. No. Their priority is to make these poor people feel full. That's it. You suck. You're a motherfucker. Uh, excuse me. You're a motherfucking cocksucker. Just the same to, thing just, with the doctors when they say it about the, you don't need supplements you're getting everything from your food it's the same you, bullshit you see you see uh, the cost of that um, fighter jet that could have paid F for, for free education for many years for yeah, American yeah, for kids, kids and help the and and oh another thing Texas is 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 like um, some judge in Texas thinks he's higher than than the federal government by saying. <laughs> that anchor babies uh, will not be allowed to stay in the United States, uh -huh. and also the vet, the poor veterans. They don't even want to feed the poor veterans. No. They don't even. They don't want to do anything for the poor vets. Now, what they want to do is they want to deport those eleven million people in this in, in this country, right? Like Dwight D. Eisenhower did way back when. But they care about and that was not done humanely, as but, Mr. Trump says. But they're all upset about the Christmas cups in, at Starbucks. Oh my God! Oh, that's important. The yes, let us put Christ back in Christmas. Well, hey, pal, he was never in. He wasn't born in December. Okay. That's right. That's right. Christ was never in Christmas. Christmas is a pagan-based made up holiday based on paganism and uh, 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 and all those Christmas carols were actually made were, were sponsored by uh, big American retail companies uh, Macy's was responsible for the song Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer this Gene Autry wrote it this is yeah he might have wrote I hear Mel Torme the Jew wrote a lot of Christmas carols too this is all to get you to part with your money. This is a retail scam. Bingo. Whether it's a Zionist retail scam or not, it's a re it's a sleazy retail scam. Like watching an infomercial with a disclaimer at the end. You know, or a car dealer. You know. Yeah, at the end you hit a you know disclaimer. You know, tiny little letters. You know. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, so I got I got William H. Morrow. I had a big debate with him about <laughs> mainstream media. He believes in his CNN, and I told him it's all scripted, it's fake. I you got in in that cable. He has cable. Uh, he just he's not computer literate, uh, so he doesn't. He's not. 
he's not familiar with the real news which is online but you have to pick and choose your news online mm -hmm. you don't go to the youngin and, and 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 where they take satire and they make it look real you don't you don't you don't read they're like that it's like the national enquirer online Basically, you you pick and choose your information. So use a variety. Yeah, but all the all the mainstream is all rigged. Hey, even MSNBC holds back. You know, and um, um, but anyway, let's let's sink our teeth into these readings. The king has spoken. The undisputed proven king. And all you punks out there, you think you're going to get discovered by putting. <laughs> All that great information on your Facebook profile with your 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 little a uh, limited uh, tiny little friends list you know what you're nothing until you do what old James here the king does you put your mug either on a podcast on a popular station or you put your mug on the internet and do a video you never do that you're cowards you just post and place your little comment. Post and place your little comment. That's all you do. And you do it on your profile. What's the matter? You can't go public? Mm. You pussies. You pussies. I want to say greetings to my uh, my uh, my top administrators of the Facebook group, Sasha Boyle and Anthony Alora. Okay, and um, I want to also um, give greetings to my uh, near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.